Hey guys, thank you again for tuning into Hashtag Ash Joy. Happy Friday. I also want to shout out to my loyal watchers. You guys have been there with me since the first episode of Hashtag Ash Joy. Ajua, Andrew Barfi, Tiffany Washington, Sharita Humphrey, and Carla Machoka. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you, you all support because you know this is so hard for me. I do not like being on the camera. But I want you guys to get the tips and that you deserve and get the information so you can carry this out into your own professional career or business. So thank you again for tuning in. And I am Joy M. Hutton, your favorite trainer and business strategist. I am also the founder and principal consultant of Joy of Consulting. So hashtag Ask Joy is where you can get your pressing business questions answered. So please do send them to me at hello at joyofconsulting.com and we'll go ahead and get started on today's question. So in the spirit of giving and Giving Tuesday, for example, with nonprofits trying to hustle and get that money, I am going to talk about nonprofits today. So today's question is from Kelly and Kelly is actually in Chicago, my hometown. So Kelly asks, I want to start a nonprofit. Is this a good idea? Well, for those of you that know me, know how I feel about starting a nonprofit. I get asked from people all the time about starting a nonprofit. And so, again, remember from my first episode, I am not a nonprofit consultant. Just want to make that clear one more time. But I do work with nonprofits. My bandwidth extends beyond nonprofits. So, but I would like to answer this question for you all. So, if you want to do this nonprofit journey, I'm actually going to tell you why you should not. And if you do not fit the bill for any of these, then go ahead and begin the steps to taking that journey to starting your nonprofit. Okay, so again, why you should not start a nonprofit. So number one, you are starting a nonprofit because you want to put your name on something. Listen, if you don't have money to start a nonprofit, don't do it. Nonprofits were started by rich people or for rich people so that they had somewhere to put their money. So if you don't have any money and you know you're not going to be able to get any money, don't start a nonprofit, okay? Go sign up to be on a board or a volunteer for a nonprofit that shares, that shares a cause that you're interested in, okay? Number two. There are several organizations that already fill a need that you want to do. So if your initiative is focusing on playgrounds, whatever it is, if your initiative is not unique, it might not be a good idea to start a nonprofit if you don't know how to make it special. Because there are so many nonprofits doing the same thing, and guess what? Not all of them are getting money. All right? Number three. You do not have people on board or on your board. Listen, you need a board of directors, okay? If you do not have a board of directors or you do not have a community that will support your initiative, it's probably not a good idea to start a nonprofit. Donor dollars are too important to be spent on programs that are unnecessary. So if you don't have the cause, guess what? They're not going to give their time or money. All right. Number three, or that was number three. <laughs> number four, your idea is best suited as a not as a for-profit. So think about it. Sometimes people start nonprofits, but actually you might be better off starting an actual for-profit business. So think about that. And there are ways that you can scale it just like a nonprofit, but you don't have to worry about all of the other tax implications of having a nonprofit. Okay, but don't get it twisted. A nonprofit is still a business and you have to run it as such. So you still have to consider, will you be the only one working for a nonprofit? Do you plan to hire people? How much are you going to pay yourself and your staff? What types of systems are you going to put in place? What types of programs are you going to run? And how much are they going to cost? How are you going to make the nonprofit sustainable? A lot to think about, right? And if any of this makes it overwhelm makes it seem overwhelming, it is. So these are things that you have to think about. 
a nonprofit is still a business. It's just tax exempt. So you have to run it as a business. Okay. Number five, if you don't like to fundraise or plan events, you might as well just hang up the towel now. You cannot run a nonprofit and expect to just do one event a year. You have to fundraise. You have to get money from donors, individual donors, foundations. You have to apply for grants. And most importantly, you have to fundraise. So think about that. If you don't like to plan events, and like I said, if you don't like to ask people for money, you're going to have a large, a, a, a large problem, and that is not making money for your non nonprofit. So your programs will not be sustainable if you don't have any funding coming in. So if you don't like to ask people for money, hire someone that will. Okay, six, in addition to funding, it, if it is difficult for your cause to secure long-term funding, it's going to be a hard time for you to run your nonprofit. There are over 1.8 million nonprofits in the United States and fewer than 15% of them have operating budgets over $250,000. So if you are wanting to start a nonprofit, guess what? You might not have a salary. Over $250,000, less than fewer, uh, less than 15%. So think about that, all right? Okay, and finally, you are not passionate about the cause. So if you are not passionate about your cause, please don't start a nonprofit because it won't be successful. All right, guys, so that's it. I know that's, you know, a little pessimistic approach to running a nonprofit, but that's all I got. And then I hope this gives you something to think about before you start a nonprofit. So again, we're here every, well, I'm here, not we, <laughs> but we as in listeners and audience, what have you, I am here every Friday at noon. If you have questions, send them to me at hello at Joy of Consulting, and I will answer your most pressing business questions. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys here next Friday at noon. Thank you.